Hello, my name is Darius Young, and welcome to modeling a Chinese dragon in Blender. Now, in this in this series of tutorials, we'll be covering how to model the dragon, how to sculpt detail on the dragon, how to rig the dragon, and how to texture the dragon. Uh, these this tutorial series won't it won't be long, but it'll be very informative on how you uh, do the functions and things for creating the dragon. Now, I'm showing you a preview of the rig that I have, consisting of inverse kinematics, uh, which means that any uh, any one bone can control an entire part of the the character. So. I don't have many forward kinematics, meaning that you can just move the individual bone and it won't affect any other bone, it'll just it'll just be what that bone is supposed to do. I find that inverse kinematics is better. They could get a, a better better deformation, especially for this kind of character, the dragon. So I have controls for the the body the the upper body so that he can you can make him stand up and such I have a head control you can move his head around I have feet controls and I also have tail controls so in this video I'll show you how to model the dragon using a using a skin modifier so so let's open our new blender file now you start with the default cube now what you're going to want to do is hit tab and first hit 5 to go into orthographic view and hit 3 on the numpad to go on the side view and hit alt M now if you're working on a Mac it would be the start button in M but for PC it's alt M and then you hit enter to um, make make all the vertices into one you click on this blue arrow and drag the vertice up and what we're going to do now is we're going to extrude by hitting E a number of vertices that are go in a serpent like shape we're going to extrude a, a nice amount of them so we can get a lot of deformation in the neck so that it won't be like stiff hit G if you want to make an adjustment and with this kind of thing you might want to turn on you might want to hit O to that um, that means that when you hit O you hit G it'll it's like a fall off you can scroll it up and moving one vertice will affect more than just the one vertice within the circle radius and that's really useful so so we got that part done now we hit E again Okay, so now we're going to come to this vertice here. We're going to hit E again, except click, turn off O for this function, click the red arrow, and move it over slightly to the left side so we can extrude the feet or the legs. hit 7 to go in the upper view also for those new blender users um, if you hit the middle mouse button 
you can rotate around the view or hit alt and click and you can do the same function uh, to do this you go to file user preferences let it load go to interface or no to go to input and hit emulate three button mouse and you can do that now save that as a user settings and click back in and you can do that so now we're going to extrude the feet oh yeah and also shit hit shift in the middle mouse and you can pan the view so now we're going to extrude the feet by hitting E again clicking the green button so it can go straight on the Y axis move it forward right click that vertice again extrude move this out right click that vertice again hit this button I mean hit E and extrude it out now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of these by right clicking them and holding shift to select more than one we're gonna hit W and go to subdivide and that makes uh, more than one vertice it, it separates the one edge that we had into multiple vertices now it usually does not extrude I mean it, it usually does not make uh, this many vertices in between the edge so what we're going to do is we're going to select all three of the vertices and we're going to hit alt M and merge at center we're going to do the same thing for the other three feet that we made okay so let's right click this vertice yes this vertice hit 7 hit E extrude let me hit 3 again in the side view hit E extrude that out hit E again extrude that out and actually hit O hit G and move this move this part up because we want when we this is preparation for rigging it when we when we get um, when the leg is more uh, when the leg is less bent we could get more uh, deformation in the leg and the bones won't confuse the bottom part of the leg with the upper part so we're continue we're continuing to make the rest of the toes for the back legs oops we shoot it the wrong one Hit E click 7 G and whoops turn off O Here we select all of these W subdivide <coughs> excuse me so now we have the feet made let's go here to the head portion of it and we will start making the head okay so that's good now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap into object mode we're gonna scroll our mouse button on the uh, the the tools tab here till we get to our modifiers tab click it go to add modifier and add a mirror modifier and make sure you turn on clipping so now our 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 vertices that we made 
on the left side are now mirrored on the right so now we, we can only have to work on one side of the mesh and we enable clicking so if we applied it it would stick together and it wouldn't be a separate thing so tab in the edit mode and to see it when you're tabbing the edit mode let me move this out click the three vertice button here on the mirror modifier and you can see I'm in edit mode now we're going to add another modifier called the skin modifier now you see it added skin or uh, now around our vertices we have we have polygons and let's hit Z let's mark this I'm going to right click that vertice and click mark root and now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to add one more modifier called a subdivision surface modifier and then we are going to go to a level of two so we can see that better and hit three on the numpad so we can see and so now we're gonna start manipulating this so that we can get a shape we can get the shape that we want of the dragon so select all three of the front toe vertices hit G and move them forward now separate them out like so uh, we can easily in fact we're probably going to scale this dragon up so to scale the dragon up what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the skin modifier really quickly tab and hit S scale. Okay, so we got a nice size. So now I do believe when we add the skin modifier, it should um, uh, well, it should have been more. We can always well, we can always do hold control A to scale the scan modifier we're going to scale it down okay so now our, our feet are um, our feet are a bit more visible so we can do this correctly okay, okay so we got those let's move to the back do the same thing Seven. Grab those, move them up. Move these out. Hit R to rotate. Okay. Uh, those are fine. G. Hit R to rotate. Move these back to make it like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move these hind legs back. I mean, we're going to rotate them so that the feet have more room. Again, we'll be so close together. We'll hit R. Once again, to rotate, move those out like so. And then move these out like by dragging the red arrow. Okay, so... Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to select, uh, what I did there was I hit Alt and right click and it selected all of them, but it wasn't supposed to do that. So I'll hit, I'll right click all of these vertices up here and all throughout the back and tail area, 